And here we go again. Yes, we continue on our path on this beautiful Colorado day and we're heading to Garden of the Gods. If you haven't been there yet, highly, highely recommend it. Is to that... see gods or? No, the gardens. So mm. we did a little bit of research and this is what we had heard, one of the facts anyway. There's a guy called Charles Elliot Perkins and in 1879, he purchased 480 acres of this land, which included part of Garden of the Gods. And upon his death, um, donated it to the city of Colorado Springs. Thank you so much. In 1909, and with the under the condition that it would be free for public. We are very grateful, Mr. Perkins. Thank you so much. Finally, some decent people around. <laughs> there are many. So you probably wonder why we are showing you the image from the satellite. Well, simply we can't show you from the uh, drone image because they don't allow you to fly drones because probably there will be a lot of drones in the air. Guaranteed and collisions. Unbelievable amount of tourists. So probably for the safety reasons. Garden of Gods. Garden of the Gods in Colorado. And the cool thing is we can take our bikes out because the path is perfect. We're not quite sure where we're going. We're just following the red brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the red brick road. Follow, 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 follow the road. Look at that for a cool riverbed. So beautiful. Just slowly relaxing, enjoying the beautiful morning weather and scenery. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. I'm a coming. I'm a coming. That must have taken a long time to make that riverbed. So cool. So, we have no idea that we are actually on the wrong side of the park. So we're following the path, but it's taking us around the outskirts of it instead of going through it. But we have seen some amazing things along the way. And if you know what these flowers are, please make a comment. Now we even cross the street and uh, realize, okay, we are definitely in the wrong, in the wrong, wrong place. place. We met some people and they told us, man, this is the wrong place. So, but we go again. Yeah, but how we go back again? Yeah. My darling, she is riding a bicycle with her iPhone in her hand. But it was so and worth she it. She is look, going look under the bridge Duck without your head, people. anything. Duck. It was not the helmet, not the helmet. He, she had in her own hand. But I did it just for you. Now, wasn't it worth it? No. You are risky. I guess this is one of the main places people pull over to see the sights of Garden of the Gods. It's very impressive. bikes to come up here they have a special guide tour guide very cool so what's your first impression it's beautiful garden of the gods uh, we're fortunate that we have our e-bikes so that's been a great blessing we didn't have to walk everywhere highly recommend it but walking or biking is a must when you're in Colorado. Garden of the Gods is just above uh, Colorado Springs, which is where we stayed last night.
beautiful view, beautiful view, and Wendy sharing experience with gods, with the well, garden of gods. I don't know about the garden of gods, but my god, Jesus, was protecting me with angels. We were coming down here, Jack came across, I still stayed on the other side, and there was another biker that came and he went on the inside of me and we both collided. So I got a little bit of bruise here. This is going to be nice, but praise God. You're going to get helmets, right husband? Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. So I had a bit of a tumble, so this is why you need to have your doTERRA emergency kit. So I'm going to grab some deep blue, which is our muscle, muscle joint oil. Some copa iba for nerves and some frankincense because if in doubt use frankincense and i'm going to apply it I'm going to layer the oils. This one's Copa Iba. It's for calming down the nerve endings. My deep blue. And if in doubt, Frankie. Frankincense, shaking. <sighs> All good. So no more craziness, okay? No more craziness. You're shaking. I'm good. You can talk to me. I'm good. Get yeah. in there. Three months break, baby. It's going to be a little bit sore tomorrow. As I say, it could be so much worse. So we're back in the car just before the storm started. Perfect timing. Um, I just want to point out with that accident, I said a biker, um, it was actually a cyclist. And I think the reason for the bruising being so bad, the bike actually landed on me and the, the bike weighs, uh, our, bike, yeah. our bike weighs 60 pounds. But i um, so grateful that it could have been so much worse. And in fact, as we're editing it now, this actually took place two months, two months ago, the beginning of June. And the bruising went really fast. It came out fast but it took me two months for my hand to start getting better. But sorry, mum, I didn't let you know. I didn't want you to worry. So we are right now going to Costco or Sam's Club. So we do that all the time. We always check to see if there is a Costco or Sam's Club in the area because the gas is usually cheaper. So regarding the, the gas price, we would like to say thank you to all the politicians who are in charge of our country thank you so much that you are raising up so much the prices because we we really love to pay so much money <laughs> i mean only two dollars 86 it's nothing 
Believe me, now two months later, we paid just recently $4. So we really thank you because you are masters how to take money from our pockets. We really, we okay, are honey. really okay. thankful. Okay, enough of your sarcasm. So we're really styling today. We're at the Whedon restaurant, sitting in Costco parking lot. Leftover food from yesterday from Sam's Club. But we do have solid with it today. Yum yum. And we have the generator on with the AC warm heating up, um, cooling us down. So I think there's a storm coming. Well, you can say, so where are you going now? We have no idea <laughs> where we're going. I mean, actually, no, we knew. We need to find a place to sleep. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Colorado Springs, it was you, challenging, right? It was you, yeah, you can't uh, sleep in the Walmart area, parking lot, in the Costco. So which we thank can you very normally. much, Colorado uh, uh, politicians. Uh, we, you are such wonderful it. people that you are not allowing the people to, no. to sleep. So we had a hard time trying to find somewhere to stay for the night because we're on a limited budget. We're trying to be frugal and we, we know there's certain places where we can stay those that we normally stay at like walmart costco sam's club they didn't allow it so we actually stayed um, another place is the camping world but it was closed so we end up sleeping on the road behind camping world so we are sleeping almost at the entrance to the camping world on the street yes True? yes but it was a dead end street so there was no and it was probably one of the most scariest places that we stayed <laughs> So we survived another night. So see you as we go on our way to Wyoming. Toodles. Bye. So you probably wonder, you probably wonder. Wonder. So we, you probably wonder. So you probably wonder. What? So you probably wonder why we are showing you the image from the satellite. Wonder or wonder? Wonder. One? Oh. Wonder. <coughs> There's so many people and it's so noisy. You will hear all kind of languages, therefore I cut it off everything and I just put the music on. Does it make sense? Cut it off? No. So what are they supposed to say? Nothing, just let the music play. You are pain. Too many words, honey. Yes. But it was a dead end street, so there was no... And it was probably one of the most scariest places that we stayed, <laughs> but we yeah. survived. There were some uh, Doesn't matter. sketchy people yeah. driving. So we survived another night. So until the next time, toodles. So we survived another night and we are on the way to Wyoming. No. So see you as we go on our way to Wyoming. Toodle. Toodles. Bye. That's a mess. <laughs> the toodle is yours and bye is mine, okay? I know. So don't forget. <laughs> <laughs>